My name is Mercedes Fredericks. I'm 32 years old. I'm a member of Our Lady of Guadalupe Parish, and I also happen to have a disability um, called Williams Syndrome. It affects my learning. It affects um, my um, physical. Um, I have physical and uh, medical disabilities as well. Um, it's more of like a disease, uh, Williams Syndrome is, but I kind of find it to be a gift that God gave me to help other people understand what it's like to suffer and to be grateful for my suffering because I feel like God has done so much for me. The least I can do is just share my story with the world. Um, my relationship with Christ is pretty special. Um, he's been there for me every step of the way. Um, he's been there for every tear I've shed, for every night I've spent in the hospital wondering what was going to happen next, for every time I've been bullied and um, verbally attacked because of my disability. He's been there for all the times I've wondered why he's been there. He's just the best friend I could ever ask for and a million things more. He's my everything. He's my number one. I put Christ first in my life. So um, when I first came to the mental health group, I was very, very, very sad. I've been through a lot. I've experienced a lot of trauma and pain in my life. and. Um, I just needed a place to feel like home. I needed a place to feel welcome. I needed a place to feel accepted and I needed a place to feel safe to share my emotions where I could laugh if I wanted to, where I could cry if I wanted to, where I could just let loose if I want to, to be with friends who I now call family. It's a great place where I feel loved and, loved and accepted for who I am. And if it wasn't for Jen, I don't think I'd be where I'm at right now. Um, family first, of course, but if I hadn't have met Jen, I don't know what I would have done with myself because I actually reached out to her saying that I wanted to speak to somebody at the church speaking about disability awareness and how we can include the disabled people in our lives um, more better in the church, in the, in the church setting and how we can be more included and appreciated. Um, and Jen reached out to me and it's just like we've been friends forever, like we've known each other forever. That's how I feel about Jen. She's great, she's accepting, she's caring. And that's what I need in a friend. She's never, you know, asked me to not do this or she hasn't, you know, told me, no, you can't be like this, or she hasn't asked me questions that made me feel uncomfortable, or she hasn't said, hey, you know, you have a disability, blah, blah, blah. She hasn't, she hasn't like gone on about me having a disability. She considers me as a friend, and everybody in that group considers me as a friend, and that's what I've been looking for for my 32 years of life is a group of friends. That's all I've wanted, and I finally found them. And I'm so grateful to my Lord for that. I want to know if you're someone out there who's hurting and feels like they can't do it anymore. You can with Christ. Because there's nothing that's going to happen to you today that God and you can't do together. You're going to do it, and you're going to make it, you're going to get through it. It's going to be hard, it's going to be rough, there's going to be storms, there's going to be everything that you can imagine, and when you feel like you've lost it all, get on your knees and pray. Because that's the best thing that you can do when you feel like I felt. Just know you're not alone, and I'm praying for all of you out there 
who are feeling like they need a place to belong and feel loved. You're all loved. I love you all. You all belong here. You matter.